Hey guys, what is up? It's Gibbs here with Vainglory, and today we're going to be playing some more Cruel. Now, in the live finals in NA, we did see a few teams pick up Cruel, even a Roam Cruel. There's a very good reason for that. Cruel actually got a big buff. I went over in the patch notes, and the buff on Cruel is actually probably bigger than you think because he does get that damage reduction per stack. Which means you're, if you attack somebody, they're going to be doing less damage, up to I believe it's like 50% less damage. Which means you don't really need damage. All you need to do, your B ability does so much. Come down here, we're going to get a Oakheart to defend against Kashka. If they do decide to invade, hopefully we'll be able to do something. So I'm trying to get these minions and then probably head on out. We'll see what happens. It's sick beast, just hop on me. I don't have my shield up yet, but just trying to get those stacks off. He did get a stun, maybe he'll follow it up with me. Uh, let's see if we can get here. Oh, the Vanguard. No! Not the Vanguard. Ah, oh, see if we can get this heal off here soon. I just want to try to get that heal off on her. There's a good bit of heal on her. Oh, I don't think... No, we're not going to make it out of this one. What in the world is going on in lane? <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a um, rotation, but... Uh, that was crazy. We just got aced in like less than two minutes. And they're probably going to take our backs and everything we own. <laughs> Yeah, there goes our bags, maybe. Yeah, I see Kashka down there. This is going to be a really good example. You know, Cruel is early in the week. He's not so much early in the week if you play him correctly. We kind of messed up there. But it'll be a good example of how to come back. We have nothing to do in jungle, so I'm just trying to get him to tank for me. Because we have nothing to do. Like, nothing to farm, nothing to do. So just, oh my goodness. So he's going to go out. I wanted to get my passive up. Maybe we can still get him. Oh my goodness, the support! All he had to do was just wait on me to get my passive. I got the slow up and everything. Crow's really good at ganking. Oh man, this isn't looking good. So we just go ahead and get this, uh... We go ahead and get this guy, and then focus that on Kashka. Just want to get those stacks up on her, reduce her damage. And we should be able to take her down. Yes, we do get her. I don't want to die, no, 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 oh, oh, no, yes, yes! Is that an ace? No. <laughs> It's kind of what he is where I want to look at this farm. Oh my god, we get paid today, fellas. Oh my goodness, Box even though Box is like, bro. He's like, you can't blame me for taking these, but I'll leave him a few. Because <laughs> we did just get paid a lot. So I'm telling you, Max UV. It might actually be better Max C now. I have to give it some more tests. Because they did nerf his A and they buffed his uh, ultimate a little bit. From Hell's Heart, it's got a little bit longer stun duration. And if you hit a long one, it could actually become super long stun. I have to give it some. I have to test it out in some other games. But I'm telling you guys, when you go into a fight, just focus down and get these stacks. You don't even have to use your B ability unless you're absolutely going to get the kill. Just go ahead and get these stacks on them, and they're going to be doing 50% less damage if you get all eight stacks on them. You don't even have to B ability them. Just leave the stacks and move on to the next opponent. And the next thing you know, you got two characters, both of their carries doing 50% less damage, and you're just sitting there, just pounding away. Please. See if we come up here and get a nice quick gank. We did get a double swift shooter. Rush out on him. There's a slow. We don't even need Catherine. So we go ahead and pick this up. Nuke Town. That's what I wanted to do earlier, but Catherine kind of just ran out of the bush. Uh, not much we can do. They're just going to try to help him push this lane, a.k.a. try to secretly slice and farm out. Jet lag. If anything, I just want to get my B ability off on him. See how much. Yeah. Yeah. That was looking good. That was looking good. I see Kashka over there on the right side. So yeah, as far as building, uh, what you want to do is just get the start off with the Swift Shooter as normal. Get some early defense and then get another Swift Shooter. Because Swift Shooters give you more attack speed. Nice we did get this one. Uh, can we get jet lag? Oh, I didn't finish him off. I'm going to tank a little bit. Man, don't know where Kosh is at. But yeah, get double Swift Shooters. Uh, skip the Blazing Salvo because the Blazing Salvo costs more money for less attack speed. Two Swift Shooters give you more attack speed and it's cheaper than a Blazing Salvo. The only downside is it takes up an item slot, but you'll be fine. So we'll get two Swift Shooters here. We're going to work on Shiver still right off the bat. I might pick up a little shield for the uh, Kashka and get this ultimate. So we went from 0-1 getting our first rotation of jungle invaded to strictly going 3-1-1 right now. So we've gotten four kills since the beginning. 
It was after we died the first time and lost our backs, we've gotten four kills. So you're gonna go ahead back. We're gonna get the shield. Uh, we can get a shield reflex block. I'm just gonna go ahead and get shiver still because, well, I have the damage reduction. I don't think any of them can out damage me. Koshka looks like she's putting out a good bit of damage, but I do have the shield. And once I get my A ability shield off, it'll protect me from that initial burst damage. And if she does do a little bit more, I can always B ability her. But if anything, I can get these stacks off on her and she won't be doing much of anything. Especially since they nerfed Kashka with her cooldowns. Her early game is... It's not as bad as you think, but it's very noticeable. So what we'll do is... I just want to check these. We'll buy a Blazing Salvo eventually. And when we do buy that Blazing Salvo, we'll go ahead and probably swell, sell the Swift Shooter. Maybe not right off the bat. I'll look at this. Go ahead. Wait, wait. He says Shiver still proc. He ain't going nowhere. Seven, eight stacks. One more hit. Go ahead and take him to nuke town. That's like the worst feeling whenever you come right back to lane and you immediately die. It's going to help him push out this lane. Oh gosh, this isn't good. I don't think I'm going to make it out of this one. I have nobody with me. Ah, the nuke. We still have like four stacks on her. I think I just defended that 1v2. Legit. Ah, uh, they can see me. I don't want her to hop on me. I do have my shields. If we can. All right, we'll just stick on to Arden then. Get the stacks. I can nuke him down, get a small heal back for myself. The laner should be back. Yeah, there he is. Don't forget about the people that you kill early because they do come back to life. They're not dead forever. This seems like a simple thing that you know, but then act upon it. Oh, what is he doing? Whoa. All right, we'll just go ahead and take Arden out then. He needs to be careful. Nice. Catherine's gonna go ahead and tank. Wanna do the gold miner? I'm fine with that. We're 5 1 1 right now with a little bit more than 1,000 gold. Probably gonna get a little bit more gold after this gold miner. But for the most part, uh, like I said, it's a really good example of how to come back from getting your jungle invaded early. Cool's actually early game is not weak. People say it's weak early. The only thing weak about his early game is the clear time. When people say that somebody's early game is weak, it really you have to really, really look at it because just because their clear time is slow doesn't mean that their early game is weak. Go ahead and take these. Uh, let's see. It is coming up on eight minutes, so we might take this minion miner. If nothing happens, Catherine might be in a little bit of trouble. We'll keep an eye on her. So we can go many different ways here. Pretty much, you're just building tank. You're building attack speed. And then we'll look at the builds. If they have any kind of armor, I'll just go Aftershock. I don't really care if my... Uh, they're all three in lane, but maybe I can sneak this out. It doesn't matter if your laner is going CP. You're not necessarily going CP with Aftershock. It's more of like a burst... Uh, all right, they're not coming over here. It's more like a burst sustain build. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Why is she chasing me? All right, so they got Ringo, so they might be coming up behind. Just want to come this way and make sure... Go ahead and cut them off right here, and we'll work on this tower. It's 3v2, and I do have a big nuke on the tower if I want it. All right, they're not even coming, so we're going to get this tower for free. Awesome. Oh, look, there's Arden, there's Kashka. Go ahead and see. I want to sit on Kashka. I think I have a shiver still. Go ahead and alter to make sure. Nuke town. Take him to nuke town. Arden tried to protect him, but not quite enough. Truth going in on this Ringo right now. Go ahead and hop on him. I do have boost. Gonna stick on him. My B ability's up soon. Ah, I don't think I'll make it out of this one. Go ahead and heal up. Oh, 574. No, no, no. 666? Bro, come on. That was just rude. You didn't have to hit me for 666. That was no pun intended, right, turret? This turret's hella funny. So we're gonna get that Aegis for the Kashka. We're going to work towards Aftershock. I did pick up the Blazing Salvo. And what we'll do is we'll sell the Swift Shooter. So we'll, we'll sell the Swift Shooter. Probably get a Chronograph. If we can't afford an Aftershock all upright. And then we'll turn that open slot when we sell Swift Shooter into Armor Atlas. So our final build is going to be Boots, Shiver Steel, Aegis, Atlas with a Aftershock. And then we'll see kind of what we get from there. Because we turn, we could, mm, we could get another offensive item, but for the most part, his defense is like really super good. 
Would you sell Blazing Salvo? Like, you're probably not going to turn into Alternating Current. So when you sell Blazing Salvo, uh, you'll probably want to make sure you can stay double infused. If not double infused, you want to stay weapon infused. But for Cruel, I prefer that you get Crystal Infusion first. Just for the cooldown reduction and a little bit of damage. It does stack with Aftershock. So here we'll go ahead and we'll sell the Swiss Shooter, pick up a Chronograph. We have 430, so about 500 off of the Aftershock. I'm not too sure we'll actually get there. This could be a final push. Just going to check and see if anybody's going to overextend. Oh, he was right. They were down here. They got the Mini Miner. Ah, almost caught him. Almost caught him. Maybe we can catch somebody around this corner. Ah, yeah, we can catch somebody. Going to focus down on Ringo and Kashka. Looks like we can take out Ringo pretty easily. Go ahead and take that man to Nuketown. Vox is going to go ahead and pick up the Arden easy peasy. And we just focus down on this tower. Well, he's going to focus down on Kashka. I'm going to focus down on this tower. Since my man Catherine is tanking for me. Don't want to leave him hanging. We'll hit that tower for 661. Oh, she's going to jump. We have Shiva still. Let's go ahead and go ahead and take her out. Ah, we didn't get her. He's going to try to focus down on this. We might have to actually turn and fight this. I don't know if we can actually finish it. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn and fight. Go ahead and block that from Kashka. Try to protect Truth. He does go down. Ah, it's Arden in me. But I'm just going to work on this thing. I don't do much damage as far as auto attacks to objectives like mini mines, krakens, towers. I don't do much auto attack damage. But to the heroes is where it's most best. So there you have it guys. A little bit of tank crawl with a tad bit of CP. Tanks with aftershock. Attack speed tank crawl. Super awesome. Expect to see it in the EU finals if we do get to see Cruel if he's not banned out. But here are the builds guys and I will see you in the next video.